all-in-one video creation and editing with Vase. This new model is the next stepping stone to have full control of your AI videos. Check out this tutorial and learn how to use it with Juan, the best open source video model of the moment. Let's get started. Vase is a toolbox for better control of AI videos. A preview version of the model is already available, and it is really promising. In RunPod, you can find a template that has all the models and nodes you need to run Vase. It also includes the workflows used in this tutorial. I leave the link in the description. And if you support my channel and coffee, you can get extra credits to use in RunPod. Check how in the description. Using the template is very easy. Log in RunPod and go to Storage. Create a new permanent disk at your preferred location. I recommend selecting a data center with 4090 or L40S GPUs. The 1.3B model does not require a lot of VRAM, but video models work better with these machines. 50 gigabytes of disk space are good to start. When ready, click on Create Network Volume. Next, refresh the screen to update your list of disks. Click on Deploy and choose the GPU you want to use. We go for a 4090. Click on Change Template. Search for the Comfy UI Vase Wand for Beginners Template. Select it and it will be loaded. After choosing the GPU and the template, click on Deploy. The template installs Comfy UI, all the models and custom nodes that you need for these workflows. It is between 25 and 30 gigabytes, so it takes some time. Relax while it's installed. You only need to do this once. The next runs take only a few seconds. If you have already a permanent disk and a working Comfy UI version, or if you have a local install, check in the description the list of nodes and models needed. When the installation is finished, you are ready to go. With port 8188, you enter Comfy UI. Access to the files with JupyterLab and port 8888. You are now in Comfy UI. Close the pop up window and the Comfy UI examples menu. The workflows are pre installed. Access them by clicking on the folder icon on the left. You also get some of the images and videos of this tutorial, they are in the input directory. Let's start with the workflow with one reference image. With reference, the model generates a video based on an image and the prompt. It is similar to the IP adapter of Animate Diff. The image needs to have white padding. Otherwise, the model does not use the image as a reference. In this example, we do some cropping and focus on the person. This way we reduce the details of the background in the reference, which we do not want. Let's connect the width and the height nodes to the image pad node. This model uses a resolution of 832 by 480, which we will use in the workflows. After preparing the image, we activate the video rendering group. Check that the video diffusion model, the clip and the VAE are the correct ones. The purple nodes on the top are used to adjust the model. They work pretty well as they are, so we will not change them. Preferably, use a rather descriptive text prompt in the positive. As optional, I have set a Florence 2 group of nodes. It creates a detailed caption of the image. Use the result as inspiration for an efficient prompt. However, loading the Florence model takes some time. You may prefer to use one of the hugging face spaces created for this task. Of course, you can also use other tools like ChatGPT. Upload your reference image and select more detailed caption for a detailed description of the image. You can later modify it and use it as a prompt. Back in Comfy UI, note that the reference image is connected to the WAN base to video node. 
take into account that the workflow does not do image to video. For that, there are other specific nodes and models, which we explained in a previous video. The resolution is 832 by 480. We use a length of 85. This is 4 frames more than the standard. The sampler generates some extra frames, and the first ones are of poor quality. We later separate the first 8 frames before combining them into a video. In the sampler, a range of 12 to 25 steps is generally quite okay. We will use 20 in this example. A CFG between 1.5 and 6 seems to also give good results. We will not change the rest of the settings. As I said before, a split images node is included to remove the bad quality frames. Finally, the rendered images are combined in the video combine node at 16 frames per second. And here we have a synthetic video created with a reference image and prompt using vase. The seed has a lot of influence in the result. You may need to try some until you get something you like. This is the result with the same image and prompt, but different seed. The second workflow has two reference images. It is almost the same as the previous. Here, we use an image concatenate node to combine the images with padding. We are going to combine a person with a different background. Use the cropping, resizing and padding to adjust the images. Now, it can be used as reference image. Write a prompt that describes both images and the action occurring in the scene. Run the workflow and generate a fantastic blend of subject and background. The third workflow is depth control. In this workflow, we do not use a reference image, but depth maps from a video. First, we select the video and the starting point. We also select the frame interval, which is 2. We take 81 frames and resize them to 832 by 480 pixels. We repeat the first frame four times to do the same trick and remove the bad quality frames at the end. We obtain the depth maps of the 85 frames using Depth Anything version 2. Now, write down in the prompt the scene you want to reproduce using the depth maps. The depth frames are connected to the control video port of the Wanvase to video node. We also use the resolution of the frames and its number as input for the node. With depth, we can change the style of the video while keeping the structure. And playing with the strength you can get very creative results. Last, I am show Inji the pose transfer for control workflow. In this case, we use a video of a woman running. We will extract the poses and use them to generate a video with a different person. We set up the video in the same way as in the depth example. We can use any of the pose preprocessors available. In this case, we will use DW Pose. Now, we are going to rewrite the prompt only changing the gender of the subject. Instead of a woman, we will describe the scene of a man running. The video control is exactly connected like in the depth maps workflow. With pose control, we can effectively do amazing changes to our original video. Dense pose can also be used, with different results that are also interesting. Now, a different young man is running in the riverside. Vase is a magnific tool that takes the creation of AI videos to a next level. Looking forward for the larger models to come. If you want to support the channel, visit my coffee page or subscribe for the next tutorials. Enjoy!